this is a problem about sound and echo so this problem is not so that much difficult but it's a bit lengthy so let's get started and a quick note i would like to add that uh, our second podcast will be coming soon which is about dhaka university b unit preparation so if you are very interested for dhaka university b unit or if you are changing uh, your group after your ssc then you must uh, see that video and uh, recommend to your friends who are in humanities unit uh, whether you are from hsc or ssc state student okay so let's begin so on a day of 30 degrees celsius you dropped a stone in a well and it and the sound was heard and you saw you heard the sound after three seconds okay another day you screamed in the well and heard an echo that was heard after 0.24 seconds later okay so if the velocity of sound is 330 meter per second in zero degrees celsius calculate the temperature of the other day so first of all we need to calculate the h because first case uh, what you have what you are given with the information let's discuss that so suppose this was the well and you drop the stone from this position so first of all the three seconds what it actually means we need to understand that first the stone went down and the sound came up be careful about this thing you have dropped the stone but the sound came up not the stone that has come up the sound has come up so first of all you need to calculate this time and you need to calculate this time and after that you will get three seconds this three seconds is the total time from starting of the stone to fall and then come back with the sound so First of all, let's assume this time. This let's think this time as t1, and this time let's take it as t2. And we know that t1 and t2 will be equals to three seconds. So let's calculate t1 first of all. Think that this is a stone and it's falling, so it will be a free falling object. So this t1 will be calculated with the formula of the free falling object, and that is we know as h equals to half g t square. So h equals to half g t square this t is for t1 because it is the formula for free falling object now we have to calculate the t1 and t1 will come like this 2h divided by g and there will be a whole root and then we if we get to know about t2 so t2 uh, was the time for the sound to come up to the surface of the earth so this was for the free falling object and this was the sound so we have to take the time for the sound's velocity and as we know that sound follows uniform velocity so we have to apply the formula for uniform velocity for calculating the time of the sound. So T2, as we know that the uniform velocity follows S equals to Vt. So here we'll get H, the height that has been followed and the velocity was the velocity of the sound and the time was T2. So from here we get T2 as H divided by V. So now we here find out that T1 equals to root over 2h divided by g and t2 is h divided by v and the, this v actually denotes the velocity of the sound is equals to 3 seconds. Now here you know the value of h you sorry you don't know about the value of h you know about g you don't know h and you know about v so what is the v the v is the velocity of sound at 30 degrees celsius but you are given with zero degrees celsius so first of all we have to know what will be the velocity of sound at 30 degrees celsius and we have to follow the formula v2 divided by v1 equals to root over t2 divided by t1 and as you know that we have to follow the units with si that is t2 t2 is we know 30 degrees celsius and 30 degrees celsius if we convert it with kelvin we get 273 plus 30 and t1 this will be 273 that is 0 degrees celsius and this v1 comes here and this v1 will be multiplied with this so this will be 330 we are getting the velocity this will be 4347.66 meter per second almost yeah 347.66 meter per second so now we have the velocity so let me get our things together and now you might think you might be thinking that you have to now square the whole equation and then get your answer but it's already a very lengthy question you don't want to make it more lengthy so we are will be using a calculator for solving a one variable equation and i will show you the technique to solve this equation in the later part of the video and now let's get the answer the h will be 40.72 meters so this is the depth of the well that we are getting 
and as you know that another day you screamed in the well and heard an echo after 0.243 seconds that means that you have the time and now you have the h okay now you have the h now you can calculate the velocity of that day and from that velocity then you can compare with this equation and then again get the temperature so what was the velocity for other day let's take that well again and now you have screamed in this position and the sound went down and the sun came up so think this was in the first case the time for the free falling object but now here you are screaming then this is the traveling sound and this is also the traveling sound so the sound came goes down and came up the sound follows this 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 distance it went h down and h up so it follows this distance so uh, that means displacement equals to velocity into time so the velocity that is i'm giving it as v prime for the second day this is v prime and the time that is given that is being followed that is i am giving it as t prime so now we have the 2 into h 2 into h that is 2 into 40.72 meters this is the displacement that the sound has followed and the velocity was v prime and it took 0.243 seconds so now we can calculate the v prime so from here we are getting the v prime as 335.144 meter per second so this is the new velocity that we have and now we have to calculate at one temperature this velocity occurs so for that we again have to formulate we again have to use this formula so let's do this v2 divided by v1 equals to root over t2 divided by t1 so for t1 and v1 we know this is 330 and this is 273 now we have the v2 that is 335.144 so let's put down the values and now we have 273 for 0 degree celsius and this t2 is the variable we don't know about this value so let's calculate the t2 281.6 and this unit will be kelvin because we are we were using si unit so this is si unit and this is kelvin so if we want to know what is the value of the celsius what is the value in the celsius unit then we have to minus down or subtract 273 from the kelvin value and we'll be end up with uh, 273 uh, 78 8.6 8.6 this is a very low temperature 8.6 degrees celsius so whatever uh, this doesn't matter because we have the answer now uh, the main theme that is we have to take this time for the free falling object and then this time for the sound and for this situation then the second day we have to take the velocity or the time for the sound and this was also for the sound so these two were by sound and this was for the falling object free falling object and this was for the sound so this is the thing we need to follow now we are we will be focusing on these two things first of all if we uh, can learn how to solve this one then we will be very easily able to calculate this so let's do this one now now i am showing you the formula or the technique to solve a one variable equation so for that the equation that you have you just have to write it down so first of all we had 2h divided by g so we are writing 2 and the h that is the variable that we will be calculating so use it as x so 2x divided by g g will be 9.8 and then we have plus this was the thing and then we had x divided by what was x divided by x divided by uh, the velocity so x because this was the height and divided by the velocity that is 2 4 uh, 6 that was I guess 247 sorry 247.66 and it was equals to equals to what equals to 3 seconds so for that the equal sign we don't we won't be using this one we will be using this equal sign this equal sign is under the with the alpha that is a red color so we have to use alpha then we are putting it as alpha and then uh, this is equals to 3 seconds and now we have to tell this guy tell this calculator to solve it so you have to use this solve so this is written in the yellow color so we have to use shift then solve then it's asking what will be the value for x that you need uh, that you want to uh, calculate with or start with i am telling him that i want to calculate the value of x and you have you should calculate it with x what he will be doing is he will be putting different values of x in this thing and determining for what value of x this equation goes right or this equation 
finally gets the right answer so i have put zero and then i have pressed equal sign twice and then the result came 40.72 and now this is the height that we have gotten if you don't have the ex calculator you have to watch my another video where i have discussed this technique uh, this technique to calculate a one variable equation uh, in the es calculator 991 es calculator so watch that video that will be linked in the i button or in the in screen so tomar jodi video ta bhalo lage tahole tumi video ta oboshoi like korte bhulbe na ebong subscribe to us tomar jodi amar channel e notun hoye thako tahole tumi onno playlist gula dekhe ashte paro ebong age boleche je tomader jonno kintu surprise aro asteche shamne karon hocche ekhon online class shuru hoye geche amar so onek ta shomoy ashole tomaderke dite parbo ami dekha hocche tomader sathe poroborti video te till then have a great day great time all the very best start everyone